hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today i have a story time for you guys and this happened around the time when i was in elementary school and i was about to enter middle school so i was around 13 years old yeah to be exact i was like 13 years old and i remember my homegirl berenice from like my other previous stories she and my cousin and i would be our own little clique like we would always hang out together like Berenice lived across the street like from my house well not across the street but like down the street from my house and my cousin would spend the night all the time and we would get ready like early in the morning we would get ready like do our hair I remember this day me and my cousin walked to the Dollar General and we went and got hairspray and we got a curling iron because I wanted to do my hair and my cousin curls my hair, it takes forever. And my homegirl knocks on the door and she's like, hey, can I borrow the hairspray? And we're like, yeah, you know, like she wants to get cute too. So she goes and goes and she, <laughs> so she goes and she curls her hair and she brings me back the um freaking hairspray and her hair looking extra crispy, like for real, for real. Like this girl done put the whole goddamn bottle on her hair, on her head and her hair. And I wasn't wrong because when I, she handed me the freaking hairspray, like, I was like, this shit was empty as hell. Like, I've been using it for months. So this girl done used up my hairspray. Like, no, girl, you need to go and buy me a new one or, or finesse me a new one or whatever you need to do, honey. But I need a new one. Anyways, it comes later on and my homegirl and I and my cousin walked to the park. And there was this lady who um, sold churros, paletas, energy drinks, all that like good like gusquerias that they'd be selling at like parks because there's lots of people that want to buy snacks and you know whatever. There was a lady that did that. So I bought an elote. My homegirl bought an elote. I bought churros and an energy drink and so did my cousin. And we were just chilling and we always had homeboys that would come to the park and hang out with us. And we're going to name him Jake. So Jake was like cool with us. We knew him from elementary school and we went to school with him. So Jake and all the other guys come and we're chilling, we're vibing and we're just talking. And he's like, can I get a... A sip of your old drink you know and i was like yeah cool you know we're homies and she's like ew it's like if y'all were kissing because y'all sharing a drink and i'm like i don't see it that way and he's like so i really kiss her than you and i was like and i oop and i oop but anyways we gonna see her to a hundred nigga real quick but anyways i was just like you know what i don't want to do with that shit so i ignore her comment and then he asked her, can I get some of your elote? Honestly, I would have been like, no, I don't want all your fucking tea all up in my elote and shit. But she's dumb and she's like, yeah, here you go. He grabs it. He He's like, no. Nah. And he throws the freaking elote at her hair. Oh my gosh. That shit almost hit her head. Like, you know what I mean? And her hair has mayonnaise, chili powder, cheese. I was like, oh my gosh, like everybody was shocked. Like, what the hell you do? What? Are you kidding me? And she starts freaking out. And I was like, did he just, did I do that? Like, I don't know why he did that, but he just treated her so bad. Like, I don't know if he didn't like her or like, what was the deal? But he would just do petty stuff like that towards her because there is a kermess. If you don't know what that is, it's like a party at the school where they have lots of food stations, little games, things like that. There is one of those and a lot of people usually go because a lot of your friends are going to be going, family members, all of that good stuff. And one time Jake was there and he saw that and he's saying he threw soda out of her hair. And I was like, okay, like this disrespect is getting to another level. Like we would have been boxing if it would have been me but yeah and that day she told me that the day that he threw um soda at her her hair started falling out so i don't know we would have been boxing you ain't about to leave me with a ball spot but anyways thank you guys for watching let me know if you like this story time and what do you think what would you have done if you were better than you say you know what i mean and i was shocked i was like oh hell not like if it would have been me 
it would have been a huge issue but anyways let me know what you think comment like and subscribe turn your post notifications so you don't miss my next upload and let me know any other videos you guys would like to see or a specific story time comment down below and i'll be reading all comments and if you want you can comment and be featured in my next video and i'll put like a screenshot and be like giving you a shout out but anyways bye you guys i'll see you guys in my next video peace out